Hi. Hi. You don't have permission to film me. Don't well, need it. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Nashi Nathaniel out here in the city of Paso Robles, California. And right now I'm going to be conducting a First Amendment audit of Paso Robles Ford. Yeah! We're going to make sure that our friends at this local Central Coast Ford dealership respect and honor my constitutionally protected right to record what I can see from a public space. Because if they don't, well, I might have to sick old Merb on them. Sign right there lets us know exactly where we're at. This is definitely a, a Ford dealership. No doubt about that. Uh, it's definitely not a Yugo dealership. It's a big, mighty Ford. So yeah, folks, this is it. This is Paso Robles Ford. I hope I'm not uh, saying Paso Robles wrong. Some people say it Paso Roblos or Robles. But uh, whatever way, uh, I'm here at Ford. And uh, I've never audited this Ford dealership before. I've audited uh, a handful of other Ford dealerships, but never this one. So uh, this is a first, and as far as I know, no one else has ever uh, conducted an audit of this uh, establishment. So uh, let's get into it. Um, you know, Ford, well, I don't, I'm sure most of you watching this know, uh, know what Ford is. The uh, company has a long history. Uh, it was uh, originally founded in 1901 as the Henry Ford Company. You know, Henry Ford, of course, is uh, the brains behind Ford. He's the legendary founder of uh, this uh, huge automobile empire. Um, but then um, Henry Ford uh, Company ended up uh, becoming Cadillac. But uh, Henry Ford retained the rights to... Uh, his name and uh, so Ford, the Ford uh, company that we know of today uh, officially uh, began in uh, 1903 and uh, they produced uh, one of one of the first um, mass-produced automobiles uh, that was the Model T in 1908 and then that was uh, followed uh, by the uh, the Model A, and uh, something that I was uh, reading about that I, I didn't know about was that um, in 1929, uh, Henry Ford actually had a, uh, a contract with the uh, Soviet Union uh, to build uh, some of their uh, military craft. And I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, there's some other... Uh, uh, controversies that surround Henry Ford that I'm uh, not going to get into because I don't want to uh, offend anybody but uh, you know I'm here to uh, film from a public space I want to point out that I am on a public sidewalk I'm not on their property and I'm gonna film from the uh, the public sidewalk gonna make sure that uh, the fine folks that uh, run this dealership respect my uh, protected right to film what I can see from a public space because if they don't well I'm sure if you watch enough of my videos you'll know what uh, what comes next yeah it looks like uh, we got some uh, happy folks over there they're getting into a Ford well it's definitely not a, a Tesla I mean, I'm not a I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a huge Ford fan, but uh, I'd rather drive a uh, Ford than a Tesla. Oh, coming my way! I no disrespect to anybody that drives a Tesla. There it comes. They're coming out of the dealership. That seems to hi, hi. All right. Wonder if that's a hybrid. Kind of sounds, uh, doesn't sound like a uh, gasoline muscle powered engine. All right. Oh, Miss Ford is back. She's, uh, maybe she's just taking it for a test drive. I don't know, maybe she just passed her driver's test and this is going to be like her, uh, her gift. Maybe this is going to be her uh, first car and. 
I don't know. I mean, if I was going to go with a first car, I, I would recommend something other than a I mean, Ford. <laughs> I'm not trying to diss on Ford, but, uh, you know, I'm per personally, I'd, I'd go with a Mini Cooper, but, you know, to each their own, you know. All right, looks like we got somebody coming in here. A little bit of hesitation there. Hi. All right. Maybe he's going to trade in that Chevy for a new Ford. I don't know, that's kind of sacrilegious, you know. You go from a Chevy to a Ford, you know. That's like the Marlboro man hanging up his hat and uh, trading it in for a camel. I mean, come on, you know. We can't have that now, can we, Joe? Well, looks like we got a selection of uh, heavy-duty manly trucks. You know, well, not that you need to be a, a man to drive a truck. I mean, there are, are manly women out there, too. But uh, these are some uh, heavy-duty trucks, although... Uh, well, that truck is not uh, too heavy-duty. That I don't know, that truck there looks a little sissy to me. Maybe that's the, the sissy truck. And this one, this one here is a little bit more macho. But uh, yeah, yeah, if you're in in uh, in the market for a uh, for a new truck, yeah, they got they definitely got a, a selection of trucks here. There's no shortage, you know. And I just want to point out real quick, this is actually uh, Highway 46, and uh, this highway. If you keep heading east, it'll actually uh, it actually meets up with uh, Highway 41, and um, that's the uh, the intersection where uh, uh, the 1950s actor James Dean was killed in that uh, fatal car crash back in 1953. There's actually a memorial there in the nearby town of Shalom. It's not really a town; it's, it's just a, there's a, a cafe there, but they got a. They got a memorial there for uh, for old James Dean. So if you guys are heading out to Fresno or or uh, Bakersfield, make sure to stop and check out the James Dean Memorial. Hi, I'm back. All right, there we go. Hi. Yo, you hold the phone the other way, you get a better picture. Oh, he must think I'm, uh, maybe, maybe he thinks I'm like a, a spy for Chevrolet or something. Maybe that's why he's cam backing me. I mean, he could just come over here and ask me if I need any help or, you know. And then I could go into explaining to him how I have a fetish for Fords and all that stuff you've heard before. Well, we all know I have a fetish for Ford. I mean, I, I don't know. What do I not have a fetish for? <laughs> right. we're, we're gonna we're gonna play uh, phone wars here. Let's see how long I can like uh, how how long I can do this before my arm starts hurting. <laughs> Well, I don't know why we wait. Uh, let's let's uh, let's do some trivia. You know, how uh, how much money did uh, Henry Ford invest to get uh, the Ford Motor Company going? Maybe I should play the. Uh, the final Jeopardy music right about now. Oh wow, that was brilliant. Wow. Oh, wait, he's going to hold the. Huh. Uh, 
so he's, so he's going to go to that side of the of the truck to get another picture of me. Like, does he think that? I don't know. Maybe he's studying to become a professional photographer. Maybe that's why he's he's uh, practicing his photographic skills. I don't know. Well, like I mentioned earlier, it could have just came over here and asked me if I need any help. But I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe he skipped the uh, the customer service class. Oh, what was that? If you want something to drink, we got waters and coffee, everything in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you're thirsty, it's a little warm out today. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Need, sir. Have a good day. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Take care. See, that's what I'm talking about. Good customer service. Now, why didn't the other guy act that way? The guy that was cam backing me. He probably knows what time it is. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this audit up. I've been here for a bit, and if you stuck around for the whole thing, you saw what happened. Got a little bit of paranoia from that one salesman or whatever he, whatever he was or whoever he was. I don't know. Maybe he's not a salesman. Maybe he's an exotic dancer. <laughs> Either way, uh, you know, he cam back me for quite a bit, and I heard him mumble something about, you know, calling the police, or I'm pretty sure that's what he said, and, and then, uh, you know, the phones came out and all that, but... Uh, no cops have shown up, and then uh, later on, after I went live, I saw uh, s some other people from the dealership rolled up and said that they have uh, cold drinks inside for me. So, uh, you know, hey, uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to call this. Uh, I guess I'll give, um, I guess I'll do this kind of like a half pass, half fail. Um, or I don't know, maybe I'll just let you guys decide. What do you think? Is it a pass? Is it a fail? You decide. So, Nancy Nathaniel, I'm going to head on out. I think I'm going to go get me a, a nice tasty beverage. Margarita on the rocks. So, until next time, may the audits, or the margaritas, be with you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Appreciate the support.